Hi guys, in this video I will show you my basic setup for hand painted stuff. So we open our 3D code and we see this menu and we want to choose paint UV map pet mesh. Select this one and select our object. And here we can see our UV sets. Yeah, we can change sizes however we want and press OK. And now I prefer to change background here. So it's set like environment map and I want a flat color. I go to camera, background and choose vertical gradient. If you want you can change color for this gradient in the edit, preferences, themes and here you can find this option and yeah? you can change whatever you like. After that in this upper menu we will switch to orthography. You press this cube. Then you will press uh, 2 on your keyboard to go in the unlit mode. We are always painting in unlit mode too see everything that happens on our texture without any lighting and so on and now to better see what's happening here we will bake our occlusion map we will go to textures calculate occlusion we will choose sphere plus hemisphere gives the best results and now we have our ambient here in this texture bake it to help you to understand what's happening on your object another thing you need to do is to turn off these two round stuff they are not used in hand painted it's for PBR stuff yeah? uh, the next stuff we will do is to set up our pick point we we'll go to camera and here different options for your point we will pick this one rotate around current pick point i like it the mostly yeah so it will rotates around our object another one thing i prefer to get rid of is this curve you know on your brush we don't need it and it's pretty annoying so we go to edit preferences we choose brushing and we will turn off this show brush curve and now you have your nice brush from the menus i use this brush one brush options i prefer to turn of spacing and use the sharp style for my hard brush yeah it's here like this one also i use texture editor and here you can see our uv map and paint over it if need we use layers here is our layer setup stuff we can create layer copy layer remove layer similar stuff like photoshop yeah also i like to use surface material stuff to turn off or turn on our materials yeah object per material and also we can use like paint objects it's for turn off turn on the objects on your mesh from the tools menu I'm actually not using a lot. Yeah? It's our standard brush, eraser. For the brush, I mostly use like this one setup. It's like 99 of my work. So, yeah, you can play with them and see what you like mostly. But I use this one. So, yeah, eraser. Then we use this height tool. It hides meshes, polys. It will help you to paint in some places yeah. then we use this fill tool oh here yeah. and remember for hide tool if you hide it something to unhide it you press ctrl x yep. so 
audio. Hide it and unhide it is Ctrl X. And the fill tool. We used to fill the covers, so like you know something simple when we are doing our base covers. It's really fast to work with this tool. And another thing with this tool is the gradient mode. Yeah. There's two these dots. You set up them how do you, how you like for your gradient map and you press this higher and you have your gradient. Yeah. It's easy. There's a couple more stuff I'm using for my works. You go to textures, adjustments, and here you can see this hue saturation, brightness contrast. It's similar to Photoshop 1 CM. So we go here and you press preview to see what happen happens on your scene. And you just change hue, saturation, however you want. Yep, similar like in Photoshop. Same with brightness. And we need to press preview to see the changes. And similar with this strange naming. And this one will also help you to get rid of some maybe black colors on your texture, like change color for ambient occlusion map and so on. Another stuff I'm using, it's an export to Photoshop. You press Ctrl P, choose your UI set. And in Photoshop, you can use any tools you want. Create new layers, random, blah, blah, blah. And there we go. You can paint here, whatever you want, save it. And it will export everything to 3D code. Yeah? And that's how I stop my scene in 3D code for hand painted stuff. I hope this video has been helpful for you and see you in the next videos.